you were at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $10 a month plus patients want me to rant about, you can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Ben, who says, rant about the phenomenon of people garnering much more respect for their intelligence than they deserve. As an example, you mentioned in your PCPU lecture that old episodes of The Biggest Problem in the Universe have been tainted for you because you can't trust Maddox anymore, but since I finally went back and started listening to it from the beginning, I couldn't help but think it was pretty easy to parse obvious attempts at satire from legitimate retardation all the way through the first 40 or so episodes. I can only imagine you assumed it was all satire to begin with because you had been a fan of his for years leading up to the start of the podcast. Anyway, this sort of thing happens all the time. People who are probably of average or mildly above average intelligence will pretend to be retarded and will do so often enough that people will overlook cases of them being genuinely stupid. With all due respect to the man, I can't help but feel like Best Guy Ever has done this a lot, but who am I to say? In any case, I can't imagine you haven't thought about how this happens, or whether or not people should just find less lazy ways to be funny, and I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. So, in the case of Maddox... I think that, first of all, you don't make for a good control because if you had already heard my lecture before you went and listened to The Biggest Problem, then, you know, it's been tainted for you as well because it's a difference between just trusting that this person knows what they're talking about versus not. And, like, if you were a reader of Maddox's website, it was never really about making serious points in the first place. Everything about it was completely fucking ridiculous, you know? Like, the story I read in that that, uni that PCPU lecture about uh, how he hates people who don't like onions, I mean, maybe there's a nugget of truth in there, but it, it's ir irrelevant. Like, the point of the article is that it's this completely fucking absurd, ridiculous story about him donkey-kicking an onion into a girl's mouth and her fucking, like instantly uh dying of pleasure or something like that you know just it, it was just an excuse it, it the 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 complaint about society is just a launching pad for a goofy fun article and so like yeah the articles were opinionated but it wasn't about like do i agree with the opinion or not it was just a funny take on an opinion that you understand the logic behind the opinion, but the fixation of the article is not on the validity of the opinion. And it's being argued in insincere terms very blatantly, you know? So there was no reason to think that Maddox, uh, you know, was sincerely that upset about these things if he's writing these insincere, sincere, satirical articles about them, you know? I guess it's not that big of a deal. But, like... When you listen to the podcast, in the early part of it, Maddox comes in with a lot of very, like, serious issues, and he's he's much more serious about them than he typically is, and it kind of seems like he really thought that the point of this podcast was that even though they are arguing in insincere ways, they're arguing about sincere issues, whereas Dick kind of took it more as we're arguing sincerely about insincere issues um, because that's more relatable to, like, the common man. It's more funny to, you know, to say, okay, uh, piss driblets. Like, it's a huge problem and I'm really fucking serious about it, you know? That's a lot funnier than, than you know, picking a subject like female genital mutilation that's very disturbing and uh, hard to think about and then, like, making light of it in the way that you defend it, you know? Like, it can be funny, but it's just... It's, uh, they're both different types of humor, and at the end of the day, Maddox is serious about these issues, and that's the part that starts to come through, and, it, like, in the early episodes, you kind of feel like Dick is just not taking the show seriously, because Maddox is kind of guiding the narrative that he is the one bringing in goofball problems, that that's not the point of the show, that, like, you know, that Dick's style is in the wrong, but then when Dick kind of starts mixing it up and trying to play more of Maddox's game, but, like, uh, you know, throw it back in his face, it becomes apparent that, you know, Dick is just a lot better at doing it than he is. And, and when Dick starts to actually say sincere things, then that's when you go, oh, when you hear Dick being sincere, you think this is a smart guy. He's not the character that he's portraying. Um, because that character wouldn't be able to understand these things. And meanwhile, with Maddox, 
he's fucking up in ways that make you go, well, how could you be the intelligent person that you portray yourself as and not understand what a libertarian is before you argue about it, you know? Like, in, in like completely not understanding the concept of it to such an extent that you get blown the fuck out. And then when you can't, like, when you have to somehow, like, maintain your character while admitting that you were wrong, but, like, you do it in a way that's not even funny, it, it, it just legitimately, like, pulls back the curtain on the way that you operate, that, like, you legitimately... Uh, have to create this character that's very carefully crafted and there's no like there's no naturalness to it you know because the real you is the one that actually does have all these opinions and the the fake character is the one with the jokey explanations but like you know so yeah I think it's I think it's just a matter of thinking that Maddox knew what he was talking about because of the fact that he presented himself as knowing what he's talking about and Dick is presenting himself as not knowing what he's talking about. But when you realize that Dick does know what he's talking about and he starts calling out Maddox on not knowing what he's talking about, then it's like, that's when you really start to be like, oh, okay, I, I see, I was wrong to trust this man's intelligence because he is not the person who he has somehow managed to appear to be, um, you know, which Maddox had made plenty of bizarre career choices and he was secretive for most of his career. He was not somebody who was very much in the public eye before this podcast. So, like, we probably would have known that he was like this had we been able to observe him in any more detail before this point. But we only ever saw him at his best until he was unscripted. So, you know, um, yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much how that happens. I mean... If, if somebody is, spends a lot of time writing interesting... How many times has there been, like, an artist or somebody who you really loved their work and then at some point you found out that they had some, like, crazy fucking belief that you can't believe somebody who, you know, somebody who would have made something as seemingly... or been involved in something as seemingly intelligent as things that you've loved, you know, uh, would have those beliefs. And then you just kind of got to go, well, I guess you can... Guess you can be right about some things and real wrong about other things.